The first step in terminating your 3M brand hot melt ST connector is to turn on the hot melt oven. The red portion of the switch should be visible when in the on position. The oven needs to be on for at least 6 minutes to reach operational temperature. While your oven is heating, take this time to clean all tools and lapping film with a lint-free cloth and isopropyl alcohol. Keeping your tools clean and free of debris is very important. If you are using non-jacketed 900 or 250 micron fiber, you will need to slide the clear strain relief tube onto the small half of the metal crimp ring, stopping at the lip or ridge that separates the small half from the larger half of the crimp ring. Once that's done, crimp the small half of the crimp ring onto the transition tubing using the die marked .137. Slide the strain relief boot, small and first, onto the cable. Then slide the entire assembly onto the buffered fiber following the boot. To strip the fiber to the proper lengths, lay the cable on the strip template and mark the location of where to cut. If you are stripping jacketed cable, strip approximately one and a quarter inches of jacket from the end of the cable. Score the jacket with the 3M brand 6365 ST stripping tool. The termination procedure for the classic SC and FC hot melt are the same. For training purposes, the SC will be shown. After you have successfully prepared your fiber for termination, you are ready to mount your connector. Leaving your connector in the oven, position the fiber above the connector. If you are using 900 or 250 micron fiber, slide the clear strain relief tubing and crimp ring down towards the end of the cable where it will be easily accessible. Feed the fiber into the connector until the buffer stops inside the connector. Slide the tubing and crimp ring down the fiber until the crimp ring meets the back of the connector. Push the fiber into the cable retention feature. The scribing process is the same for all 3M brand hot melt connectors. First, slide the strain relief boot up and secure onto the back of the connector. Remove the connector from the 3M brand universal connector holder. Pull the connector straight back so not to break the exposed fiber during this process. Hold the connector so that the fiber is clearly visible. Position the fiber scribe with the blade perpendicular to the fiber and the bevel side of the blade up. The polishing technique is the same with all the 3M brand ST, SC, and FC hot melt connectors. To begin, start with an air polish. You may use any coarse grit, such as 9 micron lapping film. Air polishing is done by holding the connector in one hand with the ferrule end face up and gently moving the lapping film in circles over the tip of the ferrule. This procedure is done to dull any sharp edges on the fiber end face. Continue the air polish until half of the blue bead is removed from the ferrule end face. This will reduce the time required to polish the connector. Be very careful not to over polish during this step. Excessive polishing will cause the end face of the fiber to fall below the tip of the ferrule. Once you have finished the air polish, place two drops of distilled water on the pad. Place a sheet of 2 micron blue-green lapping film on the pad, glossy side down, and clean thoroughly. Place the polishing jig on the lapping film. Place the connector with the ferrule end down into the polishing jig until it stops. Grip the connector with your thumb and forefinger while gently resting them on the jig. Begin polishing with light pressure, moving the jig in a figure eight pattern. The speed of your figure eights should be between one and two per second. After completing five figure eights, Increase pressure until all the blue adhesive has been removed from the tip of the ferrule. Your polished connector should look as shown. Upon inspection, your fiber end face may have scratches or chips caused by imperfect scribing or polishing. A crack or chip through the core of the fiber is unacceptable 